There's a camera mounted on this pole and this is what it sees. In the corner here, there's an electrical box. I wanna know if somebody is near that box, I want a push notification via the app on my phone. So this is the electrical box and I want to see if anybody is walking near this box. In order to do this, you will need to log in either to the camera or to the NVR. I'm gonna show you with respect to the camera, just in case you've only got a single camera and you wanna set this up. So you'll need the IP address of the camera. Check out my videos if you don't know how to locate the IP address or locate the camera on a network, and you'll have to log into the camera. Now, this is what the camera sees, and I want to go to event, and then I wanna to go to smart plan, and I firstly wanna switch this on. So notice it is orange, it might be blue if you're using the NVR. Make sure this is on and press save. If you are gonna be doing this via the NVR, go to AI, go to parameters, go to smart plan, and make sure this is on. Right, going back to the camera, I go to IVS. I already have two rules here, but I'll add another one. There it says rule number three, it's asking me if it must be a tripwire or an intrusion. Right, so you can choose tripwire or intrusion. A tripwire is like a very defined boundary. So if someone walks over the tripwire in a certain direction or both directions, it'll activate and that's how I can get the notification. So I'm gonna say draw rule and I'm gonna click the mouse and I hold it down and notice that I get to this point and I have to click it again because I've released the mouse, but it's still moving. So I'm just gonna click it again. It is just in this corner. Now I don't need any more. So I'm just gonna right click. Now there is the first rule. Now notice that the rule is based on what it says here. It's saying which direction is it A to B going from one way to the other or, the, or backwards. And I've just got it on both and I've set it to a human or motor vehicle. It's fine. I just want it to be a sensitive. Now I'm gonna even draw a second rule. I'm going to put it like this. So if somebody walks past, so I've got two rules here. I've got number three, which is if somebody goes like in that direction. And I've got number four, if somebody walks past there towards this uh, box. All right, so I need to activate both those rules. And then I need to say save. Now, if you want to have a notification sent to you via email, you can say send via email, but you would have had to have set up your network settings for your email. I have a video explaining how the NVR or the camera can send you an email if there is an activation. But I'm going to be using the app for a push notification. So everything has been done on the camera. Now, if you're gonna be setting this up on an NVR, you'll just have to select the channel. In this case, it's channel two. And there it's pulled through the brand new rules, three and four. There is a number three and there is number four. So I can just quickly have a look at the settings here. Everything's looking good. And if you wanna to get to the email or you wanna send an email there, it says send email, it will send me an email if there is an activation because on this NVR, I have email set up. But the point of this video is to show you how on your mobile phone using the app, you'll get a push notification, not an email. So now I'm going to just show you one more thing and that is your camera has to have this enabled. So you go to access platform, notice it says enable for peer to peer and then you will have to scan this QR code using your app. There is a serial number which you can also put in manually. So what that means is in order for you to get the notifications, you will have to download the DMSS app and I'll now show you the steps to follow. All right, so in the Google Play Store or the app store that you use, do a search for DMSS. There it is. If you have a look at it, this is the full name of the app provider. Now, if this is a fresh install, you won't have any of these NVRs or cameras linked here. You'll have to say plus and then it's asking you to scan the QR code. So in this case, you can say scan the QR code, then you go and scan that peer-to-peer -peer code. And once you've scanned it, it's just asking you if it's a camera or an NVR. In this case, it's just a camera. It's a wired camera. And then you'll have to insert the username and password, and then you'll just say save. Right, here is the camera. It has been done. And now all I need to do is set it up for the push notifications. I say device details, then I go notifications, and I need to have the notification toggle to on, Motion detection must be on. I must then link the notification to what has been set on the camera. Remember, I never used an intrusion, so I'll leave that. I'm going to look at the tripwire, and yes, I've selected it to be on. Now, there are some other settings here which you can do depending on what type of activation your camera has picked up. So you can say save, and when there's an activation, you will get a message over here. Notice I've got these messages from earlier today. Now I'll demonstrate it in action. But very important, before the app will work, you have to allow notifications in your app settings. I have allowed it in my Android settings. All right, I see somebody is uh, walking there. And you see how the rule has activated. Right, so we can definitely see that it has activated the rule. Now let's go have a look at the push notification. Right, so there is the push notification and it will populate in the app as well. There it's happened again. So notice there are the push notifications which come on my notification center. There I can see the triggers. 
And there it's happened again, and there we can see how the notifications are being populated in this list.